Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're taking a look at a space game called Solaria Moon. This is actually a kind of an um, adventure slash puzzle game where you play as a survivor on a ship. And today you're going to find out what this game is all about, and we might also make this into a playthrough. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So basically, this is where you start your game. You're a survivor on a ship, and this is what you look like. You kind of walk around the ship, and you have to basically first get dressed. Now, I'm not going to tell you um, about the story very much yet, because I don't want to spoil this game for those of you who want to buy it. But we will be playing through this. And um, if you want to just watch the walkthrough, you can totally do that as well. Um, I believe the first thing we have to do here is to uh, go and get dressed. But first, let's actually just take a look at the amount of detail in this game. You, you'll notice that uh, pretty much everything can be interacted with. Um, unfortunately, not all things can be walked on, though. So I was actually kind of surprised that... Well, first of all, look at that. There are four people on a spaceship and there's four bathrooms. It's like, literally, you get your own private bathroom. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, and uh, you can't really go inside the bathroom. I don't know why, but you just can't go. That's not cool, you know, not cool. So yeah, the, uh, this game is um, a kind of a space mystery. It's, um, it's a game where you have to figure out what happened on the ship and where you are going through these uh, various puzzles and trying to uncover um, a lot of uh, interesting Much things. Like and uh, essentially, my first mission here was to get dressed and this is my space outfit. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to bring to space, but there you go. I'm wearing yoga pants and uh, tank top. Very, very cool look for a space uh, adventurer. Um, so this is, I believe, a transport ship. It's actually a ship that was transporting some sort of ore somewhere. And uh, two of our crew members kind of died. And then one guy is missing and I'm the other lady. And so now we're going to be walking around and discovering what actually happened. Uh, so, uh, like I said, you can actually interact with pretty much everything. There's a lot of reading, there's a lot of um, solving puzzles, there's a lot of really cool, um, very interesting data, and of course a lot of lore as well. But I, I have to start uh, by mentioning that this game is actually surprisingly really short. I've read uh, that most people finish this, with this within about three hours, and the puzzles here are not super challenging. I mean, they're not really that easy either, but they, they're definitely not the most difficult puzzles in the world. Like, for example, this one here only requires me to do, I believe, this. No, not this. This pattern right here. And so I have to basically try to recreate this inside a puzzle, which means that I have to actually change this a little bit. Uh, so it's got to be something that looks like this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And... This. Oh, yes. The energy capsules have started the emergency opening. There we go. This uh, solved my first uh, unofficial puzzle. Now this game is a lot slower and more methodical than other adventure games I've played. But so this is more of a I would almost call it a point and click game where you have to solve puzzles. But I actually like this type of environment and I definitely like space games that have puzzles or um, mysterious atmospheres in them. So let's actually progress a little bit and see what happens afterwards. I, I don't want to give you too many spoilers. I'm actually just going to skip a few scenes here. So if you do want to watch the full walkthrough, I'm going to post it um, after this video in the next few days. Now, one of the first things I have to do here, I think, is to actually go to the captain's locker. And I believe, yeah, he has an yes, access card. card, with the access code. Very good. I need this exit code for later. And I also need what else? What else it's is here? Captain's old uniform. Nothing else. All right. So the number was yes. 65598. I have to remember that because we're going to be entering it right here. Okay. So one complaint about the game is the motion of the character. You can see she's looking really funny, but also just the controls themselves. This is the meant is for... The um, I must have blocked it. This is meant for a gamepad, and I'm playing with a keyboard, uh, so it's not as convenient. But nevertheless, it is kind of okay. It, I, I mean, I'll still be able to finish this game. So I think the main shortcoming of the control scheme here is that, um, well, because it's a Unity game, it was optimized for gamepad, not for uh, mouse and keyboard. And that kind of makes it a little bit uh, less smooth uh, around the edges, I guess. But as you can see, the graphics are really nice, and... Um, the voice acting is not too bad, 
I mean, not the best in the world, but definitely not too bad. And for $9.99, I don't think I'll, I can complain about much. Now, from what I understand, it is a short title, though, so maybe that will probably be the biggest concern with this particular uh, video game. But uh, because this is an adventure game, and because this is a puzzle adventure game, you definitely have your own sort of time scale here. So it might take you five hours, it might take you one hour to finish this, depending on how quick you solve the puzzles and if you use a walkthrough or not. Now, I'm definitely going to be playing through this and try to comment through this as well, making this a little bit more interactive, but that's really it. This is the game in a nutshell. I'm actually really impressed with this. I definitely recommend this, mostly because there is not that many space adventure games with puzzles in them out there. And the ones I've played were absolutely amazing. Anyway, so that's it for Solaria Moon. Do check it out. The link for this game is in the description below. And this is our main character. Look at that. She's actually not a bad looking person. And uh, look at the effects. She's blinking. She's moving her eyes around. I love it. Very, very cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. And let me know what you think about this game. Uh, on Steam so far, it has 22 reviews and they're all very positive. So do check it out. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And do come back if you want to see the walkthrough for this game because I'll be playing through it in the next few days. See ya!